welcome dear students to yet another class of palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction this time this is the negeshi reaction for which uh, i have referred to one of these texts which you can read also if you want to know more about these uh, the latest development which have taken place in negeshi reactions and uh, moreover we will be also discussing some problems based on uh, cross coupling reactions so uh, these biarrhyls now which have been synthesized having especially the ones which are having uh, heterocyclic components they are found in pharmaceutically active compounds natural products and agrochemicals as we discussed earlier also palladium catalyzed cross coupling reactions have been studied extensively the negeshi coupling is one of them and it's most frequently utilized particularly because uh, organozinc compounds are compatible with a large number of uh, sensitive functional groups and so it has great utility of late uh, solid uh, salt stabilized organozinc reagents have also been developed which are less sensitive towards air and moisture because as we know organozinc compounds are sensitive towards air and moisture so e negeshi while working on it in the, during the 1970s the, he shared the nobel prize for his work because that time simultaneously work was going on uh, heck and uh, suzuki and a few others were working on similar reactions so the 2010 nobel prize was shared between um, these amongst these uh, heck suzuki and negeshi for their wonderful work and as we know these reactions follow a similar pathway with slight differences which we are uh, going to quickly review take a look over before moving to the next where this is the general reaction rx plus r dash zn x dash in the presence of a palladium catalyst forms this cross coupled product now what is x over here the halide can be bromide iodide or it can be either it can be a triflate good leaving group the r in this can be an aryl an alkyl an alkyline or a propargyl and at the same time this x dash x dash is the one the halide which is associated with our organozinc it can be chloride bromide iodide r dash associated with the organozinc forming this organozinc can be again alkyl aryl allyl alkyl homoallyl homopropargyl where the metal which is selected generally is uh, palladium or nickel though palladium is the preferred one but a few experiments have been conducted using nickel as well so the ligand which is used here the ligand is triphenylphosphine binap also has been used at time binap is 2 2bis diphenyl uh, phosphine 1 1 binaphthyl binap short form for that and dppe has also been used as these are the ligands which are associated dppe has also been used which is uh, uh, ethane derivative 1 2 uh, bis diphenyl phosphine ethane now as we know the first step in this reaction will be starting with the active catalyst that is palladium zero the palladium zero by means of oxidative addition as we know is converted into the r p d x where oxidative addition is taking place hmm? so what will happen here again oxidation number oxidation state increases electron count increases hmm? so as a consequence of this the pd with rx oxidative addition across the pd associated across these so r at one end and x at the other to with palladium this then undergoes transmetallation and this time for transmetallation what do we have the organozinc this organozinc by transmetallation itself 
it takes up this x from here as is, and is converted into zn x dash x transmetallation and this r1 is the one which is the organozinc in fact is the reagent which is exchanging its uh, organic uh, substrate with the halide in palladium so it exchanges this with the halide in palladium and we get this and now this by means of as we know the cis trans isomerization therefore this initially this will be trans which will be formed now by cis trans isomerization the next step reductive elimination and we will get this coupled product so these steps as we know lead to the formation of this arc similar to the ones which we have seen and studied in the other cross coupled reaction which are palladium catalyzed from this now let's move over to our problems let's try and tackle one or two of these problems since we've studied so many of them now so these uh, problems are the ones which are based on your uh, competitive exams from uh, that point of view hmm? so with a little stereochemical input also and stability input otherwise they would have been very simple reactions so a little tricky on that but if we know our chemistry we'll be able to solve them easily you all will manage it the, these problems will no longer be, be a problem because uh, uh, the steps which are followed see in this case what will happen this is the molecule which has this double bond besides this halogen here so what will happen in this case because this and this they are present this hal halide and this are present within the same molecule so it will be an intramolecular uh, taking place reaction palladium catalyzed and as we can make out from this this is a heck reaction the heck reaction in the presence of a base again so what will happen the first step that will take place will be the oxidative addition so here is the oxidative addition step where palladium by oxidative addition the oxidative addition leads to an increase in the coordination number electron count oxidation state here and we have again pd2 pd0 changing to pd2 so pd here with i at one end and this carbon at the other end this then in the next step will lead to we will know that the next step will be the syn insertion now syn insertion will occur along this double bond since this double bond is present within the molecule hmm? so it's taking place within the same one and the same molecule this reaction heck reaction so what will happen now since this is facing towards us the wedge hmm? so, now this ring this group rather to form the ring will be inserted at one end the palladium at the other end how will this happen because we know this will lead when this is inserted here this will lead to a formation of this can be inserted here only hmm? this will lead to the formation of what type of a product because this can't be inserted here this will be inserted here palladium here then only a closed ring will be formed so as we know this will be a cyclopentane ring hence so this since this is towards us this attack will take place from the back direction because this is towards us this means this is away so this two will be away that is it will be a cis fusion because this is a one two fusion so cis fusion and this is very well indicated that's why i here though i shouldn't have shown it but to just make things easier that this is away slight dash i've shown it by a slight dash that because of this cn being towards us this will be away from us so a ring can only be formed when this two will be away from us so automatically the hydrogen which is there uh, on the double bond will be also towards us this and this shows that it is cis 1 2 cis this and this shows that it is 1 2 cis 
So if this takes place in this way and we know it is a sin insertion, so you can see, I've shown it also by the dash, that the palladium will be inserted again away. It is sin. So as the ring has been inserted, though it has been formed, this bond has been formed away from this. This is towards us. This is away from us. So this too will be away by the dash because these two should be in the same direction. Sin addition. And the sin addition is very well shown because if this and this are sin, then at the ring fusion, the other two, this and this will also be sin. That is, they are in the same direction. This is away. This two is away. And palladium is also away by the dash. Because palladium and this other carbon which is inserting, it should be sin. So this is away, dash. This is away, dash. Now what will happen after this in the next step when beta hydride elimination takes place, that too is also sin. And as you can see, the hydrogen which is present at the ring fusion is trans to the palladium. So that cannot take place in the elimination, that cannot be eliminated. So which will be the hydrogen which will be can be eliminated because here we have a hydrogen which is sent to this palladium. So beta hydride elimination will take place from here and not from here because this hydrogen is trans to this palladium. So this cannot be eliminated. Hence this will be eliminated because here there are two hydrogens and one of them is present sent to this palladium. So a double bond will be formed. As a consequence of this, the less substituted product will be our major product. So I hope you have understood this very interesting type of a reaction, which was, the hint was there initially because the CN was being shown, is being shown as a wedge. So the one, two ring formation, this ring closure will take place. So this bond is away and this two will be away also. Then only the cyclopentene ring, the stable ring can be formed. And since this will be away, this will also be away, the palladium. Because these, this and this should be sin to each other. Hence the less substituted product will be the major product. Now let's move on to another interesting reaction. Once again as we can see this is again because of this and this again and palladium catalyzed we can see this is a heck re reaction. This heck reaction the product the first step the oxidative addition. So oxidative addition is taking place with the palladium. Palladium 0 is being changed to palladium 2. And this palladium 2, now the next step is sin insertion. So here takes place the sin insertion. At one end we will be having the palladium. At the other end we will be having the R. Uh, R. So this will be the product that will be formed by sin insertion. Hmm? This is the double bond, across the double bond. R at one end and PD at the other. Sin insertion, remember. Hmm? And after this now, since we know there are two hydrogens, one at this and one at this place. Hydride can be eliminated from here. Beta hydride, alpha, beta or alpha, beta, it can be eliminated from here. If it is eliminated from here, because there are equal chances of the two, in that case we will be getting this R, C, because this is eliminated, R, C over here, hmm, H and CH, CH2OH. That means a primary alcohol will be formed, unsaturated alcohol, this will be formed. Hmm? And on the other hand, if a beta hydride elimination takes place from here, in that case it will be R, CH2, CH, CH, OH. In other words, an enol will be formed. Now this enol will undergo tautomerization, it will tautomerize, it can tautomerize to this more stable form, the ketonic form, so tautomerism will occur, ketoenol tautomerism. Now we know the C double bond O and the C double bond C, out of these two, 
this is the more stable c c is a softer bond this is a harder more stable bond c double bond o so since this is more stable this will be formed as compared to this so what will be the major product in fact this single product this will be the product that will be formed so this too was an interesting reaction because like the earlier one in this two two products could have been formed the earlier one was predominated by the ring closure which was uh, took place in such a way that it was away from that hindered cyanide cn group which was towards that it could have been any group so in this case this product is formed because out of these two the ketone is more stable the carbon double bond o is more stable uh, as compared to the carbon double bond carbon so this is all for today i hope we've managed to go through this and you are able to understand this process the mechanism based on these cross coupling reactions so good day to all